Hello! And welcome to another Mind Map Madness video. Let's talk about false friends. Now I'm not talking about someone that's just been having sex with your girlfriend and also has a secret handshake with you. So for anyone that doesn't know, it's when you have the same word in another language that you are learning which has a completely different meaning. It's the equivalent of a girl asking you if you're, da if you're DTF and she actually just wants a damn coffee. <coughs> anyway, because I'm smart as hell, I've decided to learn not one, but two damn languages, German and Polish. If you're not well versed in these languages, I can tell you that German sounds like an angrier version of English, no and Polish sounds like people are shushing each other Miłosz. and going skiing everywhere. Jąski. And with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine <coughs> extra letters, it's confusing as hell. And I'll tell you what those letters are. You firstly, you've got um, which sounds like you just got bad news. Aon, which sounds like you've just kicked your toe. U, which is the sound that you make when you look at your food and you see that you don't like something on your plate. Awe, a letter that's a confusing as hell because it's an L with a cross in it but sounds like a W. Ch, well this letter actually existed in English until some smart guy decided that if you can just put a C and H together and make the same sound. Shh, quiet please. Enya, this letter is about as useful as washing your hands before going to the toilet. Je, and je. Yes, that's right. There's three fucking Zs. And ultimately, it just makes me want to slip my wrists every time I practice. <laughs> So, you're going to learn some German words, and you're going to learn a few Polish words today. Plus, wow. you might even learn a few Australian, you know, isms. I say isms because Australian isn't a language. It's just the English language that's been shoved through the meat grinder. So, follow along. German is in the national colour of purple. Australian is a proud gold. Be like the wealth that I'm going to create from this video. Polish is in turquoise, a colour known to a few people like the actual language. And English is in black because, you know, I like creativity. Mm. So let's begin. Show us where these nasty false friends are. And you don't need to go far because it starts with the basics. You know, learning right from wrong. Starts with knowing the basics, words good and bad. Good is good. Hell yeah! The best words are always those that are simple, easy to remember. So is bad bad then? Well, no bad, it turns out bad is schlecht. But then I find out that the, wo that the word bad in, is a word in German. It means bath or shower. And it's not that strange until you see something like this. Bad house? It's the local swimming pool, but for an English speaker, it looks like the fucking correctional centre in the middle of the city. Saying that, house equals house. Also simple. And then you come across this. Now come on, bitch please. This isn't a road and circus. For my non-German friends out there, this actually means city hall. <laughs> and bath in Polish is vana. So, what do you want to do? Right, so let's spice things up now. How can we get confused with some bad words? This should be fun. Most know that shit means shizer. And we have the same, you know, kitty version down under. And sex equals sex. Bam! German is simples. But what about to fuck? And then I seen this and I thought it was as cute as a button. Thicken, Ooh. this is what we would say at school to, as a pretend swear word. Now before I present the next false friend, it comes with a true story. So I'm, I'm a waiter, and we once sold cauliflower wings. I always recommended that you should get the sauce on the side. You know, because it makes them soggy. I couldn't think of the right word to say to these two young German girls I was serving so I just said it makes them 
mushy. It was literally like two deers in headlights. I knew something was wrong. I told my colleague and after everything, you know, the girls tipped me eh, for making them laugh so much. Moral of the story in Germany, don't ever talk to Germans. After making such a mock cock of myself, I thought maybe it might be a good idea to learn a few more words, like cock. So cock means schwanz, which honestly is one of my favorite words ever. But where it gets confusing is when cock in German means chef. But wait, there's more. Chef equals boss. You confused yet? If not, it's also chef for boss in Polish. But no English speaker will ever know because C and Z together looks like a relationship of two consonants that should never exist. Like Chi cheated on H while on a Euro trip with Z and then decided to start a second family. <coughs> oh yeah, you know, there's alphabet humour as well. In Australia, boss means God. Well, you know, that's at least what my dad calls his boss. Actual God Almighty. Oh, is God. God is becoming. And forget being common because that's just boring. For the most part, for me, the numbers in Germany, in German, are relatively easy. But there are a few that, you know, stump us up. I'm gonna go through them. So the number three is dry, like my humor. Mm -hmm. Dry is trocken, which sounds like nothing, but moist is nass. Although this is not a false friend, I wanted to just add it to the video so I could say the word moist and give two thumbs up for nass for almost being as cool as the word moist. Four is fear, which sounds like fear, which is what I get when I don't get enough people subscribed, so bloody do it now. And to make matters worse, four in German means before. And vor, you decide to go to the bar and order for you and your five friends. I wouldn't say ich will six. Because the bartender won't know if you're trying to ask for six beers or if you're just a very horny person who is flirting hard. Anyways, this one should be fun. So nine is neun, but no is nine. In Australia, you can actually say na, which means no, but German na means close or near. Brilliant, but by, by far my favorite number is 11, which is elf in German, which makes it feel like I'm in Santa's warehouse every bloody time. Let's move on to body parts. Now we've already established that dick equals funds. But dick also means doodle, which I still remember when I was a kid, when my mum stopped telling me to play playing with my doodle last week. But what's even better than the fact that Germans have the same sounding words with different spelling is that dick means thick. Just so many normal words in German which make immature people like me giggle every time. And heart equals herz, which doesn't hurt my feelings, but what's hard to swallow is that hard means heart. Ear stands for or, or is odor, and odor is garage when you're a smelly ass, mm -hmm. and duft when you're smelling as nice as the guy from Old Spice. Arms translation is armor, which obviously sounds like you're going into battle, but less common in Australian is Ima, which can be pronounced Arma. Remember, meat grinder. Let me put it into a sentence. I'm a gonna get me a beer. I'm a gonna do the right thing this time. I'm a gonna have a Barbie this weekend. <laughs> then you have one of the words for your tush, which is pop. But really it looks like a spelling mistake for the word shizer. Possibly that's where the word poo comes from because it comes from the word pop. Now we're moving on 
and you're going to go to a killer German party, which I must say they do extremely well. You need to be equipped with a few words that might help. Well, a party is a fire, which is fire to say, but fire is foyer, and foyer is forearm. And it's really important you look after your mobile at any party, that's, that's for sure. But what's not as handy as losing your phone is the fact that handy means mobile phone. And what's funny is that a lot of Germans think handy is an English word. It is, but the wrong damn meaning. And with some parties you might need to bring a chair, which is stool. Well, that, that's super easy to remember because it's like stool, which is hocker in German, which sounds very familiar to hooker. And while if you're wrongfully accused of being hooker is just horrible, being called a nutter is absolutely hilarious. In this meaning, because the professional literally means to get paid to bust nuts. And totally beats the English meaning of being someone acting crazy or obscurely funny. As well, most girls won't go out without their bag. And a bag is called a tasha, which is very similar to the girl I lost my virginity to. During Halloween, at the door of the party, you're expecting that Frankenstein is going to welcome you at the door with the word ENTER. Not in Germany, because that means our friend Daffy Duck. Just a few more words before I give you my final comments. So, as an adverb, like, so, what are you doing this weekend, is also in German. Also is auch, and the German so, well, you know, has about 50 meanings. Also important to learn the word please, because it's nice to be polite. This word in German is bitter, just like the way I like my beer. Flowers, always nice to get for your loved ones. Blumen, much like Bloomin Hell, she's a bigot. We love to go away, you know, holidays, trips, rides. Well, a journey is not going to guess this. Fart. One word for fart in German is poops. If you were to change the phonetics to English, it would be pups, which is damn well short for puppies. The cutest things in the world, they have decided to call Velpen, which sounds like somebody is being really sad. Also, what have we learned today? Well, in the confusion of all this, it can make life very interesting. I'll show you. This is a typical day in Berlin. At the bakery, doesn't matter what it is. I always say I want sex. Because you know what? Sex is better than fear. To their reply, why not elf? You know, I have no use for this. Plus, I'm trying to be common. You know, normal. I get a call, my sweetheart wants to know if I'm coming home. Abruptly I say, nah! I'm almost home. At home, after I unpack the groceries, I'm in the mood to be a cock. So I cook some food. But I'm no chef. My girlfriend is the boss. She yells out that Shivana. To my reply, this is bad. Please speak German or English. I would have got to help me, but I know I don't pray enough, and I have to say that my girl gets a bit mushy with me, and I say, Fickin' hell, girl. To her reply, why do we do it in hell? We can do it just right here. So I'm like, nice. And I grab her armor and we go fight the battle between sausages and tacos. With ecstasy in her eyes, she says, let's have some fun, Oda. Give me a sec, I'll put some deodorant on. Coming back from the foyer, burning outside, we had a fire, just the two of us. I yelled out for coming back, to her cutting me off saying, who are the other three people? And I said, no, forget that. 
I want to give you my heart and dick. Well, you know. She said, before you do, big boy, grab my Tasha. Oh, so, I said, of course she can come along. Let's join the party. Anyways, guys, if you've made it this far, I appreciate the shit out of you. I think I'll actually do these type of videos again. This video has been a lot of fun, and if you want to support the channel, please subscribe and hit that silly little bell so you never miss out on a Mind Map Madness video. Explaining life's big questions with a difference. See you in the next one.